In the video, you'll learn about the best budget AV receivers for 2023. With today's technology, there are so many options to choose from when it comes to audio equipment. So which one is right for you? Watch this video and find out. We have included links in the description box. Let's get started. At number 1 is Denon AVRS 570BT 5.2 Channel AV Receiver. The Denon AVRS 570BT 5.2 Channel AV Receiver brings spectacular surround sound, lag free gaming, and streaming music into your house. The receiver supports the majority of high end surround speaker systems by producing up to 70 watts per channel at 8 ohms. Dolby True HD and DTS HD compatibility for lossless, high fidelity surround playback is available to speakers. Smooth current gameplay is supported by VRR, LMAN QFD, and built in Bluetooth enabled simple music streaming for mobile devices. The abundance of inputs, up to 8K at 60HE and 4K at 120HE pass through and a handy built in guided setup make it simple to set everything up and connect. When it comes to listening to your favorite music, you have several options. The AVRS 570BT includes a built-in AEM or FM tuner, like almost every receiver, but it also contains contemporary features. Use the front USB type of port to play high-res audio files directly off of an optional USB flash drive or portable hard drive or use Bluetooth to stream music from a compatible laptop or smartphone. The AVRS 570BT provides advantages when connecting the most recent gaming console because it supports VRR, QFD, and ELM technologies, while QFD expedites the transmission of each frame to cut down on latency. VRR automatically adjusts the refresh rate in real time to account for fluctuations during gameplay by allowing the gaming console to instantly activate the TV built-in game mode when turned on. Elm helps reduce latency even more on compatible TV. Connect your speakers according to the setup assistance instructions, then use the integrated microphone to measure the space. These measurements are used by the AVRS 570BT to optimize sound for your space. The Denon 500 series remote app for your mobile device or the bundled RC1254 remote control can be used to operate the receiver. The software may be used to browse and play music from your phone or link drive, turn the device on and off, choose a source, change the level, and more. At number 2 is Yamaha RXV385 5.1 channel AV receiver. The Yamaha 5.1 channel RXV385 isn't particularly attractive, therefore it won't garner any design honors. Since Yamaha hasn't updated the appearance of their amps in a while, the 385 resembles its predecessor perfectly. The receiver looks like a typical rectangular box from the outside. On the front are the typical input and preset selection buttons found on the majority of AV receivers. The Yamaha 385's included remote is intuitive to use and well-designed. The Yamaha RXV385 is a rather well-equipped entry-level receiver in terms of inputs. It includes two coaxial inputs, two analog audio inputs, and one optical input. You can attach a USB drive to the front-facing USB port and stream audio files to the receiver. Although the amplifier lacks built-in Wi-Fi, it does include Bluetooth, allowing you to stream music remotely. Along with its 4 HDMI inputs, it also includes a single HDMI HDCP 2.2 compatible output. Many of the current Ultra HD standards, such as HDR10, Dolby Vision, Hybrid Log Gamma, and BT2020, are supported by the 385's HDMI's if you have a 4K TV. Overall, the 385 has more inputs than we've come to anticipate from an entry-level receiver at this price. It was fun to drive the Yamaha RXV385 around. The 385 showed a lot of oomph for a receiver that was marketed as an entry-level model. The 385 was able to display its dynamic range in Avengers and game. The conversation was concise and clear. The amp easily navigated the tumultuous finish battle. In the past half hour, the 385 has produced a ton of bass, igniting our subwoofer. The 385 still demonstrated great spatial awareness by saturating our listening area with the noises of the on-screen conflict. After that, we watched Captain Marvel. Once more, the Yamaha 385 impressed us with its capacity to fill the room with sound. The 385's receiver might not perform well in bigger rooms, if it has any flaws at all. 
The amp struggled to keep up when stretched to its maximum capacity. The RXV385 from Yamaha is not your typical entry-level receiver. There are numerous inputs on the receiver, as well as a few capabilities we wouldn't anticipate seeing on an amplifier at this price point. The 385 sounds a lot larger than it actually is in terms of sound quality. Your home theater will sparkle if you combine this receiver with a quality set of speakers. At number 3 is Onkyo TX-SR393 5.2 Channel AV Receiver. Don't be deceived by the Onkyo TX-SR393, which is the company's least expensive home theater receiver for 2019. It supports 4K and HER encoded content and crams several essential surround sound features into a rather small chassis. This receiver can produce amazing overhead sound effects, despite having just five amplification channels. It enables object-based surround sound processing such as DTS, X, and Dolby Atmos, allowing you to set up a 3.1-2 system with above speakers in place of the conventional surround channels. Additionally, Bluetooth enables you to stream music from your phone. I adore this receiver for college students on a tight budget who want to set up surround sound in an apartment or for people who have an old receiver and want a quick upgrade that works well with their new TV. The 393 pairs well with the majority of bookshelf, in-wall, and in-ceiling speakers thanks to its 80 watts per channel. It's perfect for supplying a small to medium-sized space with electricity for a surround sound system. At number 4 is Sony SDRDH595.2 Channel Surround Sound Home Theater Receiver. With the Sony SDRDH595.2 Channel AV Receiver, take advantage of wireless audio streaming and 4K HDR video pass through. For wireless connectivity to compatible devices, it has Bluetooth connectivity. For powerful music playing, it provides up to 145 watts per channel at 6 ohms. DGAC sound optimization will make it easier to set up your speakers and will adjust the output to your listening environment. 4 HDMI inputs and 1 HDMI output, all of which support 4K resolution, HDR, HDCP 2.2, and 3D, are provided by the SDRD H590. A headphone port is also included for private listening. You can navigate through at any settings you might want to adjust using the GUI on screen display. You can take advantage of the improved image contrast and brightness, shadow depth, and highlights with suitable content and devices thanks to HDR pass-through compatibility. There is compatibility for the HDR10, HLG, and Dolby Vision formats. Thanks to HDCP 2.2 compliance, the 4K pass-through capability enables data to pass through the receiver without reducing image quality. With a 5.1 channel configuration, or S4's PRO front surround, you can virtually surround yourself in movie action. To improve sound quality, Digital Cinema Auto Calibration automatically adjusts the volume based on your position in respect to the speakers. You can turn the receiver on immediately from your associated smartphone in addition to connecting to the receiver with Bluetooth and playing all of your favorite songs wirelessly. The Pure Direct button, which feeds sound straight to the receiver's amplifier to maintain signal and clarity, is part of the simple front. You may connect your monitor, Blu-ray player, gaming console, and more using the 4 HDMI optical and digital coaxial, four analog audio inputs, and HEMI output. The SDRD H590 may be conveniently stored in a media unit thanks to its small 5.25 height. For more focused, powerful sound, the strength in frame and beam chassis design help to lower external speaker sound pressure. A glass epoxy circuit board is used in the power amplifier to assist reduce vibration and distortion and deliver clear high power from each discrete amplifier. DSD, which was created for high-resolution audio, has a sample frequency 64 times greater than CD audio. The amplifier circuit needs to be kept cool to lower distortion and improve reliability, as the heat sink is built to maximize air intake. For increased rigidity and clear sound quality, the metal structure and heat sink bracket shield the circuits from sound pressure and radiation. At number 5 is Pioneer VSX 534 5.2CH AV Receiver. The Pioneer VSX 534 5.2 Channel AV Receiver offers 4K Ultra HD pass-through with the HDR10, HLG, and Dolby Vision support through HDMI. It supports the Dolby Atmos and DTS-X 3-dimensional audio codecs 
and can provide up to 80 watts of power per channel at 8 ohms for resonant sound. You can adjust the sound to the particular acoustics of your room with Macaque C Sound Optimization. You may stream music wirelessly from your preferred Bluetooth-enabled devices thanks to built-in Bluetooth connectivity. 4 HDMI inputs and 1 HDMI output on the VSX534 feature art for the reproduction of TV-based audio, such as the built-in Netflix or YouTube apps on your TV. By switching from traditional channel-based coding to more sophisticated object-based coding, Dolby Atmos Surround Sound technology enables the sound designer to accurately place sounds anywhere in the three-dimensional environment. A 3.1-channel surround sound speaker system, two more overhead speakers, or two more Dolby Atmos certified up-firing speakers can all be connected to the VSX534. Additionally, Dolby Surround may upmix audio codecs including PCM and DSD for 3D surround sound. The goal of DTS-X is to provide immersive and interactive audio experiences by utilizing object-based audio. No particular speaker configuration is necessary to create an immersive soundscape with lifelike audio since DTS-X can automatically adapt the audio to the current channels and speaker system. DTS Neural X can upmix audio codecs including PCM and DSD for 3D surround sound. This mode allows for a more immersive listening experience while playing any Dolby format by simulating surround and height effects from conventional speaker arrangements without the use of surround or height speakers. When compared to DTS-X, DTS Virtual X is intended to deliver an immersive three-dimensional sound, but without height or back speakers. It supports 2 to 7.1, four-channel input sources for speaker arrangements with 2 to 5.1 channels. All DTS codecs, including DTS-X, are compatible with it. Signals for HDR10, HLG, and Dolby Vision can pass through the VSX534 on a suitable display. You can watch these video standards by connecting a compatible source device. For improved compatibility, all of the onboard HDMI terminals also support wide color gamma, HDCP 2.2, and 4K. To assist you create a better acoustic environment, the multi-channel acoustic calibration system is made to automatically account for variations in speaker size, level, and distance and equalize response accordingly. By connecting your wireless headphone dock to the VSX 534 Zone B audio output terminals, you can enhance the sound in the main zone. Wireless headphones can be used to hear the music playing in the living room. Alternatively, to play synchronized audio in both areas, you can attach an amplifier to a different room. You can stream music from devices that are compatible with Bluetooth wireless technology incorporated into your device. The Aqua DP, a VRCP, SBC, and IAC codecs are all supported by the VSX534. Even in standby mode, you can activate Bluetooth by tapping the Bluetooth button on the front panel. Your current settings, including the volume level and listening mode, will be saved if you press the personal preset button on the front panel for three seconds. The front panel button or the remote control both allow for the registration and recall of up to three presets. With the help of this mid-range sound control tool, you can independently change the loudness of the conversation in your movies. The up and down arrows on the remote control can be used to change the volume. You can see whether your video is being output in Dolby Vision or if the movie is processing Dolby Atmos or DTS. X audio by looking at the on-screen display, which displays extensive input and output information for the currently playing material. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.